Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I'm doing some testing to see what uh, 223 out of AR-15 uh, will do when it goes through multiple barriers. And what I did is I bought a bunch of steel drums uh, today. Uh, those green ones were brand new. And I've lined them up and uh, I'm testing to see, you know, how, how many barrels can I go through and what the effect is. And the, uh, the steel drums are very thin skinned. So over here I have a, you know, a 22, right? And just to demonstrate. So that went right through it. I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this uh, AR-15 loaded with uh, 223 okay, and I'm going to position myself um, so that I'm going to shoot through multiple barrels and we're going to see what the effect is. Okay, so the key here is trying to line it up with my backstop because I'm going to basically, I'm aiming just over the barrels at my backstop and then from that position I'm just going to come down a little bit and I should be right there. All right, so this is cool. Let's uh, get the camera and let's walk down range and see what the, uh, you know, what happens to the 223 round, which is very similar to the 556. Five, as it goes through these uh through these um you know these barriers okay so this is my first the first barrier these are all the shots i put through it all right let's go to the second one okay so you can see after they went through that first steel drum which as i explained earlier was pretty thin skinned the uh 22 is able to penetrate this you see how they're keyholing right See how they all kill. Now these ones that I have marked with circles, those I shot earlier. I did another video on that. So the ones without the uh, the circles are are ones that I just shot. All right, so they've keyhole through. You know, I can see they came out the back. I can also see that some of the uh, there's little lead chunks in there. So so the. Um, you know, I can see about the jacket, like over there, I can see the jacket is actually actually came off and I can see lead starting to peel off. Okay, so let's go to the third drum now. So for one thing, the uh, when we get to the third drum, um, we're st still keyholing. Like I said, don't look at the holes that have the, uh, don't look at the black circle holes. Look at the ones that don't have the black circles because those are fresh. I just shot that. Now this is interesting. No penetration there. Okay, we got some penetration, right? Penetration, penetration, penetration. Okay, penetration, that's a new one. But we also have cases of no penetration. Okay, no penetration. No penetration. Okay, so um, by the third steel drum, um, we're, we've, we're, we're starting to really bleed velocity and energy uh, and we're starting to drop down to the point where, where we cannot reliably um, penetrate the, these barrels. Okay, so basically we're below the power of a 22. And if you look in here, you can see bullet fragments that got trapped in the barrel. So we got bullets not exiting. Let's see what happens here. So now we're up to the fourth drum. Off drum. Okay, I see, I got one over here. I probably shot that at a high angle, so that that uh, probably that came clean through. So that probably just went through the first um, first barrel, but didn't uh, you know? And it didn't go through the other two because that was just high up. But if I look down here, oh, here's a nice one. Look at that. You can see the lead, right? It just dented it right there. Okay, looks like we got some dent marks down there too. Just actually didn't even dent it, just took the paint off of it. So these barrels are in the line, so by the time we get to the fourth steel, rum, rum, um, fourth steel rim, 
we've got, we, you know, we've got very few stuff coming through. And then if we get to the fifth one, I don't think there's any new holes here. Yeah, there's no new holes over here. This to me, this makes a great case for uh, for why the AR-15 is such a great home defense gun because you know it's got a lot of power. Like you see those 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 car rims I have on the ground over here. Okay, the uh, the, the the 223 will penetrate these these car rims out to 250 yards. Okay, right here they're at about 25 yards. I shoot them at, but uh, I'm able. Oops, there it is. I'm able to penetrate these rims all the way out to 250 yards and yet once you come once you go through uh, four steel barrels uh, you've lost all your energy and a lot of it has to do with more with the bullet destabilizing but this is the third rim and you can see you can see here it's gone through three rims it's hitting the backside it's denting it but it's not coming through See that? It's just denting it. That one came through. That one barely came through. Probably a fragment. Same here, probably like a fragment. But this is really interesting. You know, this one over here just kind of it hit the back and it just took the took the paint off of it. Let's take a look at it from the inside. See that right there? Came through. Just ripped it just a tiny little bit, but definitely didn't make it through. Look at that right there. See that? See that? These are all bullets that. So most, most of the bullets got stopped by the, uh, by you know, by a third rim, uh, the rim, the third, the third barrel. I kept saying uh, rim, the third barrel. They got stopped. Definitely, you know, on the exit side. Some of them on the entry side. Okay, because that never got through. That never got through. That never got through. So, and the reason is because this is, you know, these, these steel drums, um, you know, even though they're, they're thin-skinned, you know, you're shooting such a light bullet, right? It's only 55 grains, right? I'm using 55 grain bullets that once they go through that first barrier and they destabilize, they really don't have much mass. In fact, uh, I'm going to try this now with the, with the 9 millimeter. I want to see what the 9 millimeter does uh, and how many rims, how many uh, rims, I keep saying rims because I normally shoot rims. I want to see how many barrels the 9 millimeter does. Maybe it will actually do better. Let's try that out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use this 9 millimeter rifle to see what type of penetration I can get through these steel barrels. Uh, you know, what happens after the 9 millimeter goes through multiple layers, okay, of multiple barriers. Let's go down and take a look. All right, so here we go. Walking through this, this is the first, the first draw, uh, steel barrel that it went through. No big deal. We knew it was going to penetrate this one. So it goes through. It actually got better um, penetration into the second drum. I'm not seeing as much keyholing as I saw earlier. Uh, the um, the uh, 223 was was keyholing uh, into this into this barrel. I, I actually I rotated it before so that so that um, you know I would have a fresh spot. But yeah, you can see the the earlier keyholes, you know how it keyholed in, whereas the nine millimeter uh, it's going in a lot more cleanly. It looks like it's coming out a lot more cleanly, and then it's going um, into my uh, this is my third barrel now. It's going into that nice clean holes okay uh, and I can see nice clean holes out the back All right I, I can tell which are the um, the nine millimeters because basically they're the bigger holes so yeah you can see bigger holes bigger holes some nice clean holes so uh, definitely you know it, it made it through the uh, the third barrel pretty pretty uh, authoritatively Let's get to the fourth barrel. Okay, this is uh, where we saw that the uh, the, uh, the the five five six or rather two two three I was testing was getting stopped. And yeah, nice clean holes. 
Clean holes, clean holes, clean holes. That one went in sideways over here. I mean, they're, they're definitely starting to veer off a little bit because I can see, it, you know, this one's going off at, at an angle. So at this point, they're starting to really destabilize. Okay, and they're coming out the back. Okay, we saw that the, um, the 223 was really not making it out. I mean, uh, the ones that uh, pretty much they were, they were stopping on this barrel more or less. And anything that got into it really didn't come out the back. All right, and uh, let's see if we got anything on the on the on the uh, fifth barrel. Nope, I don't see any new holes on that. Um, if I look over here, I mean, it made it out. Well, here's the thing: we definitely got more coming out the backside than before. All right, because okay, it looks like they're coming out the on the uh, they're coming out the fourth barrel. All right, now they're really like, you can see how they've really, uh, de you know, they're de 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 starting to take a weird shape as they're coming out. And, and over here, that didn't quite make it all the way out. And that looks like a new dent right there. Yeah, that is a new dent right there. New dent. So, did we, we're getting more exit holes uh, on the, um, you know, we're getting more, ex more exit holes with the 9 millimeter. Um, coming out of the uh, out of the fourth barrel, but once they have come out, they're you know they're not making it. They're not getting to the um, uh, to the what was that one two three four five. They're not getting to the fifth barrel because they have just become so unstable. Uh, and and by the time they get to the fifth barrel, they they just kind of veer off course, so they they never actually get to there. So I don't see any new hits on the fifth barrel. Uh, so the fourth barrel is where everything stops. Both the uh, the uh, the 223 and the nine millimeter stops here. But oops, my fingers in the way. So we can say definitively that everything's pretty much stopping on the fourth steel barrel. Okay, the uh, nine millimeter actually had better penetration because um, most of the uh, most of the uh, um, 223 rounds stopped on the third barrel. Okay, with with minimal penetration on the fourth barrel, uh, with the nine millimeter we're seeing we're getting more penetration uh, into it, and we're also getting exit holes out of it. Okay, um, and then after that they kind of completely veer off, so they don't make it to the barrel after that. So, um, you know, we can pretty much say that definitively, you know, for a, a home defense uh, situation. The nine millimeter is going to penetrate more. Um, so if you're concerned with over penetration, uh, the um, the uh, the five five six or two two three is 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 the less penetrating round when you're talking about going through multiple barriers. Um, and and I hope other people try this experiment and you know maybe do it with with multiple layers of sheetrock. And here's the thing: uh, you have to space it out. You can't have like ten layers of sheetrock like like an inch apart. All right. The key component here is uh, is that these barrels are about 10 feet apart. Okay, the space uh, matters because once the bullet goes through a barrier, it needs time to rotate, you know, and, and become unstable, you know. So then, when it gets to the to the following barrier, it's going in sideways, uh, and it's 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 losing even more velocity. So, um, so what we saw today, um, two two three will pretty much stop by the third barrel. Uh, nine millimeter seems to be getting to the fourth barrel with uh, with some good authority. Uh, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it. Hey guys, I want to show you really quickly a uh, nine millimeter bullet that I was able to recover. You can see how it's uh, you know it's just it was just full metal jacket. Oops, and you can see how it actually uh, it kind of flattened out out front. So instead of being like conical shaped, you know, pointy, it kind of peeled back a little bit and. Took a different shape. So these are 115 grain full metal jacket 9 millimeter bullets that I was using. Uh, I was not able to recover any um, of the 223 I was sh shooting into these barrels. 223 just completely broke up. Um, so so yeah, basically, like I said, most of them stopped on the third barrel. We had a lot more success with the heavier um, 9 millimeter as far as getting to the fourth barrel. Um, and then just the um, you know the, the the lightweight 55 grain 223 just three barrels is all it could uh, it could it could muster. 
Talk to you guys soon.